This is it, right? Detroit Urban Survival Training Introduction. Yes, this is it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Stealing content ideas again? Yes. I saw one tweet on Twitter, and that's all I needed, okay? This, this guy, <laughs> this guy, I, sw I saw one Twitter post. The there's, such a there's such an incredible range of, like, comedic potential for self-defense training videos. It, like, there's so much to go off of there. I don't know if this is, like, the best video, because it's, like, this is, like, 24 minutes long, so I don't know if, like, there's only small snippets that are really interesting or whatever, but I, I, w I want to see. Okay, I want to see. I'm Dale Brown, founder of the Detroit Threat Management Center and Dust, our newest uh, evolution. This is Detroit Urban Survival Training. What we specialize in is how to create safety safely. Specifically, we show you how to not injure people by design. So it doesn't matter if they attack you in a group or an individual. We show you how to use psychology, Understand. Wait, is the whole cha wait is the whole channel like this? Hold on, one point two million subscribers. Wait, is this his channel? Is this is this all his channel? Oh my god, the short ones are the best. Okay, we we'll we'll look through some of the short ones. They, these all look like they were made for like TikTok. How to disarm a stick or a bottle? Wait, this isn't the guy. Wait, how do we how do we know which one are they like tagged? This this is him. This one wasn't made for TikTok. Hello. Wait! Wait! You held the pistol against your chest for like Well look at that! Wait! Look, he was still pointing! What? I can't, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's just still holding. Okay, I have a follow up question though. What if the person with the gun doesn't have the weakest grip of any human in all of human history? <laughs> No, 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 no. They can't all be this bad. This is so irresponsible. If anybody takes this advice, they're going to die. They're going to die. They're going to die. You're, you will die. Is this supposed to be slow to show people how to do it? You shouldn't ever. If you're, listen, guys, if you, if anybody is pointing a gun at you, do not try to disarm them. Ever. It's not the movies. Ever. If somebody has a gun pointed at you, don't try to disarm them. You won't do it. You will lose. They have a gun. Unless you have some insane, crazy martial arts training that I am not aware of. I, I yeah, you just, I could do it. Well, well, you're built different, high progressive. No, it's, listen, okay, I'm going to give you permission, okay? You can only attempt one of these lunatic disarms if you know for a fact that you're going to die at the end of this anyway, okay? If you're being led to a shallow grave, all right, and you know this ends in your death no matter what, uh, then and only then is it acceptable for you to risk your life on a, on a what would you say, 10%, 5% shot? What if you say, what's that behind you first? Yeah, wait, okay, wait. I always thought, this is just my bias, okay? I always felt like, the most likely way to do something like this would be really uncool, which is why it's not shown in movies. In movies, it's always like martial arts, you know? But I feel like, I feel like in, in real life, like you would pretend to have a tummy ache and you would like fart and like cramp your stomach and like lean forward. And then when they're briefly distracted, you would whirl around and punch them, you know? Like, right? Like, I, I, yeah, I, feel, I feel like if somebody has a, a gun pointed to your, if, if somebody has a gun pointed to your you could be like, don't do it, I have, I have money, give me one. <laughs> and then, like, when you're in the middle of pretending to, like, lose your shit, then you, like, start flailing and just hope that your, hope that your hands just collide with their gun or something. <laughs> You know, like, like something like that. I, I legitimately feel like that's going to be way more effective than just trying some gun kata ninjutsu shit.
tactical pants shitting? Unironically! Absolutely, okay? Very alpha response to a gun. Well, they'll never show you that in the movies because they want the guy to look cool in the movies. But I actually do think that would be... Do you guys know what I mean? Do you agree that would be more effective? That's what I think. I feel like your only hope is to just act your way out of it, okay? Acting. You know, that's... I feel like that's your best shot. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Okay, the other opportunity is you have to make them laugh with bravado, okay? So... You know, they've got the gun pointed at your head, and you you put your arms together, and you're like, huh, guess we're gonna need an ambulance. And they're, they, like, you know, hit you with their gun because you're being a dick or something, you know? And then after you sort of recover, you're like, but not for me. And you just have to hope that the comedic timing would make them, like, crack up a little bit, and then you whirl around, you know? But not because it's cool, because you're being cringe, and you have to hope, you know what I mean? Like, that, I feel like that's, that's another good shot right there. <laughs> you come home and your wife asks why you smell like shit, and you say, I got mugged in, but I had to do fucking based. All right, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Yeah, not legal advice, by the way. Wait, one more time, one more time, okay? I want to rate these real quick on likelihood of them succeeding, okay? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rate these right now on likelihood of them succeeding. This, I feel like, is the most convincing one right here. And it's like a 2%. This is like 2 out of 100. This is like a 0 point. Like, th like th this, to me, is the one that looks the best to me. And it's because... The gun is so close to the head, and the head is a small target relative to the body. Uh, Follow-up tip, if you want to point the gun at a person, don't be two inches away from them, and don't point it at their head. Point it at their body, and be, like, five feet from them, you know? Uh, but anyway, yeah. Zero, negative ten out of ten. Wait, okay, hold on. Negative ten out of ten on that one. We've said what we need to say. Let me slow down for this one. It actually comes out so quickly. Hold on. Okay, we're doing the slow-mo. No, wait. Okay, hold on. We need to, like, do it all slow-mo. No, you're dead. What? You? He wasn't even pointing at you at the beginning of this one. He wasn't even... He, he was already... He was already uh, under your armpit. What move is that? Okay. Uh, I'd put that one with the first one. That's like a 2% right there. If you lean forward and like reach your arm around, I'd, I'd say, yeah, that's like a, I'd say it's around like a 2% on that one. Slow-mo is very helpful. Okay. See, the gun wasn't pointed in that one, I think. Well, who are you aiming at? Who? What? Okay, wait, how fast was that? Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know, man. This one's a little bit based, I think. Wait, we're gonna really slow this one down. This one's a little bit based, okay? Like, if you're fast enough, if you have, like, the crazy fucking... The, the, the Shingato hand, you know? Like, the 18th palm or something... And you do it far... I'm, I'm giving this one a 3%, maybe. Because the, the, the bonus is that if he reflexively pulls the trigger, he kills himself, right? You gotta hope that they have slow reaction time, though, okay? Maybe if they're senile? Possibly? If you do this, he killed the hostage? 97% of the time, yes. I'm giving it a 3%. That's my official Vosh safety rating. I need to watch more of these. These are incredible. Hold on. Hold on. How a knife can save your life. Does this have, like, demonstrations? Okay, no, it's just, it's just being... Knife attacker disarm. Israeli carry equals safety. Why does this one have all the views? Shotgun disarm. Oh, we should probably resume the regular speed. Nope. Dead. So dead. You're so dead. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Who's this?
I, I feel like so many of these rely on the person that you're attacking having, like, the most limp-wristed grip of these guns in the universe. Like, look at that! Like... Like, what, like look, look, at the, look at the opening one here, like... Eh! Like, you slap it, like, eh, you know? I do, I do really like that, like, for these demonstrations, they have, like, some fucking laser tag, like, LARP gear to dress up the bad guys in. Look at his chrome helmet a and, and this, like, cyber warrior power armor. Yeah, the, the, the tactical daft punk tech. That guy's just in a in a shirt. Yeah, but look, this guy's got cyber arms. Look at his cyber arms, dude. How could how could you take the gun away from him when he's got Deus Ex cyber augments in his shoulders? Yeah, this is fucking Genos over here. How how are you gonna do that? Can we talk about how LARPy the weapon display is? Uh, I that feels like a standard backdrop for like one of these types of things. Maybe 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 I don't know. Are these like throwing knives? Never mind. Hey, if they have throwing knives in the background, then I don't... <laughs> okay. This one wins best no contest. Okay, you if you guys have good ones, just throw them my way. Okay, this has 118 million views. I didn't know this happened, and I'm here now. Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm going to share with you right now what to do if a striker fired weapon is pinning against your chest, against the wall, and a criminal is holding you at bay. And the reason why they're doing this is because this is how they search you for weapons, how they're gonna take things from you, also how they're going to harm you uh, physically, keep you from running or pulling out a weapon, is by getting close and pinning you to a wall. Or to a okay, here's my suggestion. Give up. This is my suggestion. G give up. If you're in this position, give up. <laughs> Your best hope is talking your way out of being shot, okay? Give them the money, give them your socks, give them your fucking shit-filled underwear. D do not do anything. Most muggers don't want to kill you, okay? Overwhelmingly, they don't want to kill you, okay? Muggers would much rather risk... Like, if you die, then there's a, a police investigation far more substantive than any death... Or sorry, than any mugging, okay? Like... If they kill you, they don't get anything from you dying. And the the police investigation goes from, oh, somebody mugged you? That sucks, bro. To a murder investigation with police detectives and forensic experts, okay? If you're murdered, they are they're way more likely to get caught. So they don't want to kill you most of the time. They're usually just desperate and posturing because using a weapon is the best way to keep you from trying to run or yell, which would also out them. So just... Give them the wallet, okay? Give them the wallet. To a car. In this case, it's striker fire, so there's no hammer in the back. So the first thing we're going to do, since we can't move out of the way, we can't move offline, and if I were to try to move this, as soon as he saw my hand move, he's going to fire. Yeah. So we have to make this weapon not fire. And to give an example of the human reaction time, when he sees me move, he's going to fire. Uh-huh. So the reason why it didn't move, the slide didn't slide, is because I inhibited it by pushing it to the rear. Ah. From that, from there, what we do is push the barrel back towards the aggressor, and now you have the weapon, and if you don't want to shoot... No fucking shot, dude! You want to grab the fucking slide? What? That, that doesn't... It, no, that... First of all... Okay, that wouldn't even stop the shot! That would stop the second shot. Wouldn't it if you wait, hold on. Uh, let me just make sure that I remember that if you when you when you pull the trigger, yeah, if you yeah, when you pull the trigger, the 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 slide moving back is just it slotting the next bullet into place. The hammer inside has already hit the bullet. Y you're already shot. Y you grabbing the grabbing the slide doesn't stop the you know what would have been so much funnier, dude? What if it what if it was uh, a gun with an external hammer and he was like, here's what you have to do. And he reaches around and grabs the hammer between his like thumb and forefinger. You know what I mean? 
like, 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 uh, 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 this, you know, the, the 1911s, they have the external hammer. He's like, all right, here's what you need to do. And he's like, and you, you like quickly grab, because that would stop it. That would actually work. If you jam your finger in between the hammer and this and, and, and where it strikes, that will, that's actually in one of the guides. Show me. Fucking show me. Please show me. Please, 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 please show me. Bosh, this one? <gasps> no way. No way. Come on. Hostage pistol disarm rear of head. Oh, this gun has an external hammer. Oh, oh. Does this one just have it? Detroit Urban Survival Training. Right now, we're going to share with you an intelligent option. If you are taken hostage and a criminal has a gun to the back of your skull and guiding you, taking you away, this is something that will happen. I feel an attack. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to agree. I'll go with it wherever he wants to go. Yes, sir, no problem. But I'm going to take my head off the side. No, do this that, doesn't have right that. Why on. would you say that? This doesn't have that. It has a gun with an external hammer, but we're talking about... We're talking about blocking the hammer from... from... from from striking why would you lie to me why do linkers lie why do they do that anyway we have to finish this video then you just pin him down to the ground using the air what we do is push the barrel back towards the aggressor and now you have the weapon and if you don't want to shoot then you just pin him down to the ground the, the okay i'm not like a gun expert but the fact that the i i the fact that this method would literally not prevent the first bullet from hitting you is unbelievable to me. Oh, you're right, guys. It has been uh it has been too long since we've banned people for linking uh for for linking the wrong videos. We should go back to doing that. I've been too I've been too lenient to you guys. Detroit Urban Survival Training, we have a subscriber here. Who came in to Detroit to just to see if the training is real? <laughs> he brought a real gun. He's like, this motherfucker has gotten so many of my friends killed with his dumbass advice. I brought a real gun, okay? I swapped him out. This is we're, we're just shooting this guy. <laughs> He's gonna shoot if I try to grab the gun. No way. In many guns, if you pull the slide slightly back, it actually prevents it from hammering. Maybe? Uh I I'd have to test it, but I don't want to because it seems unwise. I trapped the hammer. He fucking did it! This is because his brain took two thousands of a second for his brain to see me move and then respond. He's really fast. But I was still able to get my hand here and trap the hammer. He had already hit, he had it cocked. So when I went here, he pulled the trigger, and that's why he didn't hear anything. He did actually fire though. He fired quickly. So same thing. Just so flip the move. safety quickly. Yeah, okay. You have the gun pressed against your head, okay? Simply reach forward, all right? Now, right above the meat of their thumb, there will be a button that disengages the magazine. Quickly, press it. Then, while ducking to the left, pull the slide back to eject the bullet currently in the chamber. <laughs> Catch the bullet in midair and throw it at the perpetrator's eye as you're falling to the ground. Discombobulate, you know? Look at this parody. Did I did I see this one? Hold on. These these are I, th I this isn't the one that I saw on Twitter. Hold on. What you can do if someone puts a gun to the back of your skull and holds you hostage and they're going to shoot if you move. In this situation, if they're just going to rob you, you should always do what they say and just give them whatever they want. If you okay. believe they're going to kill you, if you believe they're going to take you to a secondary location, if you believe your life's in danger and you can't trust them with the gun to the back of your skull, here is an intelligent option that can help you. He is going to shoot if I move. All right, well, thanks for the disclaimer. Woo! <laughs> All right. Guys, we back with more New Orleans Street survival tactics. This time, showing you what to do with someone creeps up behind you with a gun. Let's do it. Freeze. <laughs> And it's just that simple. Ah! Basically, what I did was I caught Will to the right. Those are some good right moves, though. Distracting. 
confusing, frustrating the perpetrator, giving you just enough time. First of all, once you're flipping, as you guys can see, I wasn't able to see behind me, but as you guys can see, he was, there was no way he can get a clear shot on me. Then you want to grab the barrel once you land, hit him in what I could call the inner elbow, and he will release the weapon. This isn't, this isn't the guy. Well, he's got me now. Or it does... Stop linking- guys, why are you linking random videos? We're linking about this guy, not random videos. You're just linking anything that has to do with anything right now. Where- where was- where was the one where the guy goes it's to heaven? Here in the window? Oh wait, is this it? Wait, th I think this might be it. Hold on. Head forward, you're offline, grab the barrel, redirect. Don't fucking move. Give me what's in your wallet. <laughs> you're not the smartest kid, are you? That was dumb. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're gonna share with you today some ways that you can increase survivability, some intelligent options. If you are pinned against a wall or a car so you can't get off center, and a criminal has a gun at the center of your body. That's a fucking large revolver. So you can see revolver. the human reaction time. When this criminal sees this person move, he is going to shoot. What? Why didn't he shoot? The way this works is step one, trap the hammer. If the hammer's forward or backward, doesn't matter, trap or grip. The hammer so they cannot move the cylinder is also gripped in this case when he's pulling the trigger it cannot move it cannot rotate it cannot fire the next thing he's going to do is push the uh front of the weapon forward which is the barrel away from his face and oh, that was easy. and rotate it back towards the criminal into his hand into a good shooting platform this will increase your survivability in a close quarter situation where you are trapped and the weapon is in the center of your person is that a real gun actually all of these are done all of these are done with real loaded firearms okay because they take their jobs seriously. Detroit Urban Survival Training. I want to share with you what to do if you're surrounded by a group of men and they attack you. So if they come at you, what you don't want to do is try to stand in the middle like in a martial arts karate movie, moving in a circle, trying to block, trying to hit. <laughs> it's not going to work. So if they try to grab and then try to attack you and you try to back up, this is what's going to happen. As you try to back up, you're going to get swarmed and you're still going to be dominated and you're going to lose. What you should do is this. Oh yeah! Oh, dude! Oh my! Oh, dude! He's he's kiting, he's kiting. And as you can see, when you move in a circle around the crowd, you're able to attack each attacker individually. <laughs> what the fuck? You're be dominated, and you're gonna lose. What you should do is this. She's just, just fucking. They're all. Look at them. I'm like just trying. And as you can see, when you move in a circle around the crowd, you're able to attack each attacker. I I I love this, man. Is this what I saw? Hold on. No, this isn't the one I saw. The one I saw was funnier. Was it this? There we go. <laughs> Swear to God. Swear to God, bro. <laughs> See, I knew this shit then. Don't move. <laughs> I want to say it one more time. Swear to God. Swear to God, bro. See, I knew this shit then. Don't move. <laughs> okay. God damn it. I hope nobody has died from taking this fucking advice, man. I know we all want to feel like in control of shit, but holy shit, if a person has a a person has a gun to your head, okay, you're 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 not in control of the situation, all right? You've completely lost control. Oh, my cheeks hurt. From smiling. This child kidnapping one's actually insanely dangerous from dust. Okay, I saw this one, and this one. Yeah, okay, okay. I saw this one. This one's actually. 
This one's actually pretty questionable, I think. All right, so the way that worked, when the man grabbed the child's arm, the swiper, no swiping on the thumb, causing the thumb to let go. This would help if someone tries to grab your child against your will, you're able to break the hold so you can get your child free no. from the aggressor that tries to. No. No, I don't think so. I think this dude could just pull and yank both of them. Now, now he's kidnapping two girls. Nice. You, all, all you're doing is adding yourself to the fucking, to the, the, the fucking kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. Also, who? Yeah. Who the fuck grabs a kid who's holding their mom's hand? Who? What? Does that happen? Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kidnap a kid. Oh yeah, here's one literally currently being grabbed by their mother. This is the easiest bounty. What? <laughs> What are you talking about? Look at the kid's face. The kid looks so bored. Look at the kid's like, uh, uh, I could be playing video games. I'm in an instructional video. Yeah, you can actually see the kid like right at the beginning. Look at the kid's face when they get out of the car, you know? They're like looking at the camera. They're like, uh, do I have, uh, okay. All right, they're gonna grab my arm. Okay, it won't hurt, right? No, because we're gonna have the guy grab with like eight newtons of force. <laughs> All shit. right, so the way that worked. Oh uh, God! The child's arm. The mother. Why does he have an iPad in his wrist? That's tactical. Thumb, okay. Causing. Back off. Back off. Back off. I feel like. Especially if you're a girl and it's like any kind of threat to you, the best self defense situation, like the best self defense response that you could possibly have is if anything ever happens to you, just shriek like a banshee, okay? Right? Like, if, if you're just like, just if, if you're being great, your kid or whatever, just like if your kid's been grabbed, just like charge while shrieking as loud as you can, right? Like, that's got to be Mace as good as well. Yeah, I said if you don't have any weapons, yeah. Um, you want them to act like kobolds? I want them to act like murlocs, okay? Just if I, just anything, anywhere happens. And just fucking charge. Uh, oh, Pigeon, I sure do scare you every time I make noises. I'm sorry, Pigeon. This is my job. Oh, uh, God. The thumb is like the weakest part of the grip, though. It only looks silly because you don't think it would work. You're right, Matthew322. I do think it looks silly, and I don't think it would work. Yeah, it's true. The thumb is the weakest part of the grip, because it's on the other side, and it's one finger instead of four. That's true, but I still don't think it would work. The The main issue here is you can't even really simulate the conditions, because, like, the little girl is, like, eight years old, and you can't death grip her wrist without, like, breaking her wrist, you know? What they should have done was had, like, a fully grown man waddling around on his knees, and then, like, the bad guy should have run up and grabbed his wrist, you know, and yanked as hard as he could. You know? Like, the self-defense expert should have been the little girl. Like, he should have had, like, a little blonde wig, like, waddling around and... You know what I mean? This is what you're looking for, I think. What am I looking for? No, no, I found the one that I was looking for. Wait, this one looks good, though. This is on Facebook. Can you imagine using Facebook? I can't. I stand correct. Yeah, Move. This day can't get no worse. Bitch ass nigga, give it up. I stand correct. Yeah, Move. <laughs> he pulls the trigger. I grab the weapon, control the barrel. Fingers in his eyes, peel him down. Secure the weapon. Wait, what, what does this assailant's face mask look like? Wait. Control the barrel. What? What Fingers is that? What is that? It looks like some sort of weird face hugger butthole. I don't like that. Eyes peeling down, securing the weapon, controlling the weapon, maintaining muzzle control. Give me everything I can tight ass pants. You got this, Rob. Move! Try the bell! Fingers to the face! Oh! Damn, I can't believe my duck ass just tried that shit. Wait, was it move and grab the barrel or grab the barrel and move? 
Anyway, at least ain't nobody see it. Man, y'all seen that video with Rob Kaiser getting shot up? Yeah, I seen it. That bitch going viral. I lay corrected. I'ma just tell Doc pull a plug. Fuck it. <laughs> I lay like corrected. <laughs> unironically unironically about as good and this is the best this is as good of advice you're going to get okay wait audio what audio stop no audio stop cut up no audio i didn't hear i took my earbuds out there we go Beans! That's what you all are typing, so that's what I'm saying out loud. I didn't hear anything. This one is top tier. Okay, one more. Last one. Okay? Last one. Gun is to the rear of your head. Pin here to the column. Drive away. It'll peel out. Man, I knew that shit wasn't gonna work. Damn, dog. If the gun is Which one came first, do you think? This guy or the, the white guy with the bun? They use kind of the same It's good though. It's a very good format. I I, I like it a lot. I'm I'm glad this is being made fun of a little bit. Um Yeah, the chicken or the egg. Okay, okay. Stop the stun lock. Stop. 